The Insta360 Ace Pro 2 is here. And in this video, we're gonna look at the new and improved features that directly impact us moto vloggers, including the improvements over the Ace Pro and some side-by-side -side comparisons between the Ace Pro 2, Osmo Action 5, and GoPro Hero 13 to help you make the right choice when it comes to buying a new action camera in 2024. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Insta360. This is not a review video, but more of a video just to share with you guys what this little bad boy can do. They can do a fair bit. Keen to get into this. But first, we need to have a look at what's in the box. In the box, you receive the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 with the removable wind guard already installed, the battery or two batteries with the dual battery bundle, a standard magnetic mount, a waterproof mic cap, USB C cable, and the quick start guide. All the techie stuff and the stuff that you can't see. So the Ace Pro 2 now has two AI chips. One's a five nanometer AI chip, which we saw previously in the Ace Pro, but now they've included the new Pro Imaging chip. This means that there's 100% more computing power compared to the Ace Pro, which only had the one AI chip. Tasks are now divided between the chips, where each chip can dedicate more power to each task, making it more efficient, improve image quality and overall performance. This means that we can capture more detail in extremely dark conditions. We'll go into more detail about that a little later on. The file sizes are now smaller thanks to better encoding without compromising image quality. 4K 60 frames a second captured on the Ace Pro 2 with a standard bitrate is 50% smaller in size than the Ace Pro using a higher bitrate. It has an improved 1 1.3 inch 8K sensor with the Leica Sumerit lens. Previously we could only shoot 8K 24 frames a second, now that's bumped up to 30 frames a second, which delivers 300% more pixels than 4K. Now I don't really shoot in 8K, but the main reason we have the 8K sensor is for clarity, for detail, and for clarity zoom. Double tap on the screen, just like the previous Ace Pro, and it'll zoom in on the sensor so that you're not losing any detail whatsoever. You still stay in 4K when you're zoomed in. Now I've caught myself out a few times when I get to mount the camera onto the helmet and I've double tapped the screen and it's zoomed in without me knowing and then I've ruined that shot. Now they have an option to turn that off, which is fantastic. The field of view on this bad boy, this thing's been upgraded to 157 degrees from 151. So now we have that really nice wide field of view. Mount it vertically, put it on your reels, on your stories and all that sort of stuff. Either way, that looks incredible. This puts the Ace Pro 2 ahead of Osmo Action 5, which has 155 degrees. And the GoPro Hero 13 comes out in 156 degree field of view. 157 degrees, we can see our handlebars, we can see everything. If it looks too warped for you though, there is now a new mega view, which gets rid of those distorted edges. So everything looks all nice and straight. It's real clever stuff. Being able to shoot at night is an absolute game changer. When I was in the Philippines, I found myself in a situation where I had to ride the entire night. I thought, how the hell am I gonna vlog this? But the Ace Pro delivers when it comes to shooting at night. It's actually so impressive. And then when I got off the bike, instead of pulling my whole camera out and everything, I just took this off and just pointed at me, went vlogging styles like this, and it picks up so well at night. It's super impressive. And now it's even better. Pure video mode has had a significant increase in performance. It now shoots up to 4K 60 frames a second, where previously it was a max at 4K 30 frames a second. And saying this, for best results, keep it at 4K 30 frames and you'll get the best detail in your low light footage or your performance. I'll be releasing a comparison video between the three action cameras of 2024. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you do not miss out on that. It's gonna be in depth, it's gonna be quite large. Active HDR has also had a bump up in performance from 4K 30 frames a second, now up to 4K 60 frames a second. HDR meaning high dynamic range, which means it captures more detail in the shadows, in the highlights, and it's all there just looking scrumptious. The Ace Pro 2 now has its own iLog, 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 iLog color profile. Shoot in log, I love doing it. As creators, we love to have more control over our image quality. iLog helps you achieve this. And also, if you want to download the LUT to bring back all your colors and everything, I'll link that in the description below. And they've also included a few more traditional Leica color profiles, and they look really, really nice. Try having a little play around. There's many to choose from. I personally prefer to shoot in iLog, but the color profiles are there, so you can hit record, film it, looks awesome, export it, put it up on socials, and have a damn fantastic time. There are ND filters now available for the Ace Pro 2 as well. I love to use ND filters. I find that it just makes your image quality look a bit better. Dial in your settings manually, get that really nice motion blur. If you couldn't be bothered with any of that, they have you covered with Motion ND. Motion ND now has sliders, so you can make adjustments in the app. 
and it determines how much motion blur or fake motion blur you want on your footage, which is a cool little touch. Previously, we've had a look at how you can overlay stats using the GPS preview remote, as well as third-party devices such as the Garmin watch and the Apple watch. And it works really well, it's very, very clever, but now they've got it inside the app. So you don't need any of this, you don't need any third-party stuff, you can just press play and it starts logging in all your stats. How good's that? Now the Ace Pro 2 can obviously handle a 3.5 millimeter jack for your microphone inside your helmet when you're talking, yo, yo, yo. Well now the Ace Pro 2 supports connectivity with the DJI mic and the DJI mic 2. Now the DJI mic receiver needs to be plugged into the Ace Pro 2 via the USB-C port right there. And then you can connect this bad boy to it and have a chat and have a good time. The DJI Mark II, which I don't have, that's Bluetooth capable already, and that can connect directly to your Ace Pro 2 without any receiver needed. That's pretty damn cool. The Ace Pro 2 connects to third-party motorcycle comms devices such as Cardo. That's what I'm using. You can connect this up directly via Bluetooth and Motovlog that way. It just picks up your voice and transmits it to this bad boy. And the Cardo now supports group audio recordings. I'll be creating an in-depth tutorial on how to do all this, so stay tuned for that, subscribe if you haven't already. A cool thing that they've implemented now is dual track audio. So you can record your Cardo mic and the external mic of the Ace Pro 2 at the same time and then blend it. Let me explain. So previously you are able to connect the Cardo up to the Ace Pro and you can still do that with the Ace Pro 2, which is awesome. The only downside is, is that you can only hear my voice. You can't hear any atmosphere. You can't hear any exhaust sound. You can't hear any wind noise. Well, now there's actually a blend control in the app. If you want more wind noise or more ambient, you can slide the slider that way. And if you want more voice, then you slide the slider that way. Really, really clever stuff. So the previous model, the Ace Pro, has a flip-up screen much like the Ace Pro 2 does. But now the Ace Pro 2's flip-up screen has been redesigned and re-engineered so that it can withstand a lot more flippy boys like this. The flip-up screen is super, super handy when having your camera mounted to your handlebars like this. If you want to recompose your shot or make sure that you're in frame, you just flip up the little bad boy and you've got a nice, big, delicious screen there so you can just see exactly what you're doing. Just like that, baby. How good. What they've also done is increase brightness as well. So you're gonna have a nice bright screen. It's gonna make it easier to see during the daytime when you vlog in. And even with sunglasses on, you're gonna be able to see the screen a lot easier as well. There has also been some mic improvements. You may have noticed this little bad boy on the front of the Ace Pro 2. This is the integrated wind guard, and this helps reduce wind noise to a minimum. Pair this with the noise reduction mode in the camera itself, and now we can get awesome exhaust sounds while we're riding our bike. It's probably the best I've actually heard an action camera pick up while in motion anyway. also one called voice isolation which is what you're hearing right now is so that when you're vlogging your voice comes through really nice and clear. I have the Ace Pro 2, I've got the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro and I have the GoPro Hero 13. There's a slight breeze going on so I thought I'd take this opportunity to compare the Ace Pro 2's voice isolation with DJI's wind reduction up to max and GoPro's audio tuning on voice. So this is the best settings for each camera to hear my voice. Let me know in the comments below which you prefer. I was told that the new wind guard is perfectly fine for riding when in the rain. It's more when you're going underwater, if you plan on going for a nice swim, make sure that you put the little mic plug boy on just like that and you'll be totally fine. And that's what you guys have been wanting. That's what I've been wanting. The Ace Pro 2 now comes with removable lens guards. So now all you have to do is twist and take that off. If a rock hits it and scratches it, whatever, you can replace it. Snap a new one back on and you're back on the road, baby. They're really tight to get on. Hang on, just, just bear with me a second. There we go. Back on. Nice, nice and good, just like that. The Ace Pro 2's magnetic mount has had an upgrade of its own, making it so much easier to remove and to 
put in as well. There's no pushing needed. And that's how it was with the old one. I wasn't really a fan of the old one, but this one's so much better. Look at that, look at this, look at that. Oh, so good. The old one is still usable with the new Ace Pro 2 as well. Dash cam mode. So previously this was called auto dash and it was just the setting, but now they've made it a dedicated dash cam mode. So what this means is if when you plug a power supply into the camera from your bike and you turn the ignition to on, it'll turn on and start recording automatically in loop mode. So they're gonna start overriding some data. Now you can choose how much data on your memory card you want it to start looping. It's a really cool way to manage your storage and your files and everything like that. So you know that you're not gonna just be overriding all your good quality content. The Ace Pro 2 now has a larger battery, not physically, but internally. We've got 1,800 milliamp hours, which will give you about 180 minutes of runtime. You feel like you're going for a long ride, you only bought one battery with you, you're crapping your pants, hit endurance mode. That'll disable some features. It'll set your shooting mode to 4K 30 frames, but it will give you 50% more runtime than the Ace Pro would shooting at 4K 30 frames. The Ace Pro batteries are compatible with the Ace Pro 2 and it also has the reverse charge feature. So let's just say I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere, my phone's gone dead, I can now use the Ace Pro 2 as a battery pack. You can also tell the Ace Pro 2 how much battery charge to give your phone. Let's just say you want to reserve yourself 30% of battery power for the Ace Pro for your ride home, and it'll charge your phone up right up until that 30% mark, and it'll shut off. That way your phone's got charged, your Ace Pro 2's still got charged, and you can enjoy that ride home knowing that you've got comms and you've got a camera. Check out how much I'm moving the camera. You can see me rotating that a little bit. There's no movement happening until I really get moving, and then it starts kicking in. That's how good the stabilization is on these cameras. But what we can do now is just tap on there and if you want to reduce that stabilization or increase it, just go high and now we've just increased that further. Look how much further I can move the camera without the actual image moving. If you want to just show that you're just hammered around a corner with some vibrations and everything like that and you want that full 157 degree field of view, then just turn it off and have a good time. Otherwise, the stabilization in this thing is incredible. So gesture control also works now with your helmet and your gloves on. So all you have to do is hold your hand like this and it'll start rolling and then do it again to stop rolling. Now be careful if you talk with your hands like I do, it's caught me out a few times where I'll be talking going la 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 and I'll just put my hand up like that and then it starts recording or in my case stop recording and I was talking, talking, talking. I didn't realize it wasn't recording and uh, you know, obviously I lost my footage, but it works really well. So just be mindful about how well it works. And then you can also do a cool little peace sign and it'll take a photo. Yeah, how good's that? Start recording again. Really clever, it works really well. And of course we have voice controls. Start recording. Stop recording. Shut down camera. It's the best, it's so responsive, I love it. The price of the Ace Pro 2 standard bundle is USD 399.99 or Australian 689.99. For the dual battery bundle, which is what I have, that comes in at USD 419.99 and Australian 719.99. If this video has helped you in any way, please consider using my affiliate link in the description below where I receive a small kickback at no extra cost to you. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the comparison vid between this, the GoPro Hero 13 and the Osmo Action 5. It's gonna be a good one, super in depth and plus all the extra stuff I'm gonna be sharing with you, all the tips and tricks. All the tips and tricks, baby. See you in the next one.